Hello, this is Cynthia Scott from the Wolfboro Public Library. I'm the Library Director and welcome to Coffee and Connections. Today I have Helen Gallagher who's a library assistant here at the library and um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the work that Helen's doing here and how long she's been here. So, Helen, go Tell ahead. Me. Okay. Well, believe it or not, to me, I've been here three years, just about, so the time's gone by very quickly. I started off at the circulation desk, and then from there the job evolved to uh, processing books, which is getting them ready for the public um, and the patrons to use. And also added to that, I do what are called interlibrary loans, where if a patron comes in and wants a book that we don't have, we check with other libraries to see if they could loan the book to us. And we, we have a very active interlibrary we loan program. We get three deliveries per week from the state library van. So that takes up quite a bit of time to do that because sometimes patrons want things that are very old or not many people would have them and it's like very um, a small interest area so we have to do a little bit of research on that. We also do, um, we've started to an outreach program where we go to some of the retirement places in the area. And one of the areas where I'm responsible is I go to Sugar Hill once a month and we have a book discussion. Usually about 15 people, uh, people at Sugar Hill seem to really like it. And um, we have a wide variety of people coming um, from the independent living as well as from assisted living. So it, that is a nice thing that's happened. We've been doing that for close to a year now. And it's an area that we're going to be expanding doing additional outreach book discussion programs as well as the book discussion programs that we do in the library currently. So the other thing that um, I am working um, on um, another person and I order books so we will see what's popular, what books have won awards, what books up and coming books. Um, usually Cindy will give us lots of direction on that as well as um, some of the other library uh, uh, people who work in the library. So we uh, will order fiction books, non-fiction books, and then I order um, books on tape which are still very popular here. So um, that is another area that um, you know is, is we try to predict what people will like um, and I think that's right now that's what I'm doing what I'm doing um, the job do is is interesting it's always changing and it's, it's a nice atmosphere so it's a pleasant really a pleasant place to work I enjoy working here and there's always surprises always surprises always there's yes you never <laughs> know what people are going to ask for no, um, no. one of the special programs that you've been working on is a new initiative with an unusual item that we're going to be circulating from the library. Yes, we have um, been in contact with the New Hampshire Astronomical Society and they have a library telescope, telescope program that's been in effect for a while and we wanted to take advantage of that. So through them we have purchased this Orion Star um, Blast a 4.5 uh, telescope. We're in the process of getting it ready for um, our patrons to check it out. We're very excited about that. We also have a program where people from the Astronomical Society are going to come to the Wolfboro Library on Tuesday, January 23rd. It will be at 6 o'clock in the night, at night, and it will be probably 6 to 7.30. And we'll do, there are two parts to the presentation. One part will be internally talking about the winter sky, the night sky, what you can see, um, and also showing you a little bit about our telescope and what the capabilities of our telescope would be. And then we're going to, hopefully the weather won't be too bad, we're going to go outside and do a, a star watch where they, uh, the people from the Astronomical Society, the scientists, will show us what we can look at, what's out there, what, what is um, in our night sky. So we're very excited. And that's, we're hoping to do perhaps quarterly, um, have different people from different various um, organizations come to talk about the night sky, telescopes, maybe research in the area. You know, we're kind of open right now, but that is our goal. So. Hopefully early February we'll be, have the telescope all ready um, to loan out to people. And right now we're thinking we're going to loan it for a week at a time. Um, and hopefully people will take advantage and enjoy it.
So we are looking forward in 2018 to having a wide variety of programs besides some of the programs that we've been doing right along, the toddler time, the story times, the monthly genealogy programs. We're also going to have a uh, full spectrum of programming this year. We're going to be continuing the lunchtime programs and this year we're going to have guest speakers, some of whom will do travel logs, some of whom will be doing health or medical programs. Uh, some of that will be information that we'll provide in the future. We're also going to be doing a Shakespeare program, a container garden program, a program on the Greeks and their myths, a program on New Hampshire wildlife. We're going to have craft programs for adults and children, one on the Salem witchcraft trials, uh, various tech programs, and a wide variety of health and medical programs as we go through the year. So be sure to check our website or our newsletter, and you can also call the library at 569-2428 to find out more details about the programming. And uh, all of our programs are free and open to all. Thank you. Our book of the month is Killers of the Flower Moon, The Osage Murders, and the Birth of the FBI by David Grant. Uh, we have uh, the book. We also have the audiobook. It can also be downloaded from our downloadable service in ebook format or audio format. And it's going to be the book that is discussed on February 13th at 1 p.m., which is a Tuesday. And it's a haunting true life murder, murder mystery about one of the most monstrous crimes in American history. So be sure to read the book and attend our book discussion program.